It may seem like 2026 is still a long way off, but for Tesla fans and those eagerly awaiting the Model 2, the clock is ticking too fast. After months of absolute silence, a spark has finally reignited expectations. Robin Denholm, Tesla's president, broke the silence and dropped the bombshell. New vehicles are officially on the way. The most curious thing, she used the word vehicles in the plural. This made it clear that the Model 2 isn't alone. Behind the scenes, Tesla has been preparing more than one ace up its sleeve, and everything indicates that one of them is an even smaller compact car, perhaps a crossover using the same revolutionary platform as the brand's next darling. This official confirmation came at a crucial moment. Tesla had been suffering from a slowdown in global sales, and the last quarter of 2024 was a cold shower, an 8% drop in deliveries compared to the previous year. It was clear that the company needed a turnaround, and not just any novelty. It needed something accessible, scalable, and that would once again capture the imagination of those who had always dreamed of a Tesla but never fit into their budget. The Model 2 is precisely that promise, a complete modern electric car that doesn't require a 10-year loan. Elon Musk had already dropped some clear hints over the past few years. He said that the next mass-market vehicle would be built on the Gen 3 PBOT 3 platform, a completely new architecture that promises to be a game-changer not only for Tesla, but for the entire automotive industry. This isn't just a technical upgrade, it's a philosophical shift. For the first time, Tesla is focusing on a low-cost product, directly targeting the mass market. This in itself is a paradigm shift, coming from a brand that has always been synonymous with electric luxury and high technology. It's as if the company is returning to its roots, but with the knowledge of someone who has already mastered the most difficult steps. The Model 2 isn't a simplified Tesla but rather a Tesla designed from the start to be simple. That changes everything. The impact of Robin's statement wasn't limited to enthusiast forums. Investors, analysts, and competitors were on high alert. After all, when Tesla moves, the market trembles. And this confirmation rekindled not only public curiosity, but also tension behind the scenes at rival automakers, especially in China. Because if there's one thing everyone understands, it's that the Model 2 won't just be another car. It could become the car, the game changer between what we knew as a premium electric vehicle and the new normal of global mobility. The possibility of a Tesla costing under $15,000 no longer sounds like a distant dream. And what's most intriguing is that it could arrive sooner than many imagined with increasingly strong rumors pointing to an official launch as early as mid-2026. That is, of course, if internal timelines don't change, as has happened so many times before with other models. But this time, there's a striking difference. Everything seems more mature. Tesla isn't starting from scratch like it did with the Model S or the Model 3. The infrastructure already exists. The technology is ready. The supply chain is consolidated, and most importantly, the world is asking for it. The market for affordable electric cars has grown explosively, and companies like BYD have already shown that you can sell a lot if the price is right. Tesla realized that if it continues to only sell premium models, it will lose ground where real growth happens, in the pockets of the average consumer. The Gen 3 platform isn't just a technical evolution for Tesla. It's almost like a new assembly philosophy. Elon Musk had already let slip at previous events that he intended to completely reinvent how cars are produced. But few imagined he would draw inspiration from the aerospace industry to make it happen. The so-called unboxed manufacturing abandons that old linear assembly line, where the car moves along receiving parts like a moving puzzle. Here, the main modules, front, rear, and the structural battery pack are assembled separately, almost like sections of a rocket, to then be joined together at the end. It's a radical shift. This new logic solves several problems at once. First, 
It reduces the physical space required in the factory by up to 40%. This means that more cars can be produced in a smaller space, which cuts fixed costs and accelerates scaling. Second, it eliminates bottlenecks in the assembly process. Each module can be worked on by separate teams simultaneously, like parallel lines. This alone provides an enormous advantage. Musk said that this approach should also cut assembly costs by up to 50%, paving the way for something that seemed impossible, a truly affordable Tesla that doesn't look like a stripped down version. But the magic doesn't stop there. The Gen 3 platform is also fully integrated with the technology of Giga Casting, another bold move by Musk. With it, entire body sections are cast in aluminum in a single piece, eliminating dozens, sometimes hundreds, of small welds, nuts, bolts, and assembly time. It's like going straight from Lego to a giant 3D printer. This makes the car lighter, more rigid, and even cheaper to produce. The Model Y already uses this technique, but the Model 2 goes further, being designed from the start to get the most out of it. This fusion of engineering and economics is what makes the Model 2 so interesting. It's not just about a cheap design, it's about a completely new way of conceiving a mass market car. It's as if the design, assembly, and final price were all thought out together from the very first sketch. And that changes everything. Because until now, all automakers have tried to adapt expensive cars to make them cheaper. Tesla is doing the opposite, creating an affordable car that is intelligent, beautiful, and functional from the start. Many people still doubt that it's possible to produce something so advanced for use $15,000. But the Gen 3 numbers aren't speculation. Assembly line prototypes are already testing this architecture on a small scale. Internally, Elon Musk has been pushing the teams to accelerate the maturation of this process because he knows time is short. Chinese automakers are growing at an astonishing rate, and the Model 2 needs to be developed with surgical precision. In this war of time and efficiency, every week counts. Another point that draws attention is how Tesla wants to make this platform replicable. The idea is that once the Gen 3 is running stably in a factory, it can be quickly cloned in other gigafactories around the world. It's like an exportable, modular model that can be installed anywhere, as long as it has power, space, and trained workers. This creates a strategic advantage that is difficult for slower competitors or those stuck in traditional methods to achieve. If there's one area where Tesla can truly change the game, it's the battery. Because, let's face it, it's no use having a revolutionary design if the heart of the car, the battery, continues to cost a fortune. And that's exactly why Elon Musk is targeting two elements that no one expected to see dominating electric cars so soon. Sodium and aluminum. Cheap, abundant, and surprisingly efficient, these materials promise to drastically cut the cost per kilowatt hour and pave the way for the Model 2 to actually cost the much-talked-about $15,000. Until recently, the absolute standard in the sector was lithium-ion batteries, with components such as cobalt and nickel, which, besides being expensive, are environmentally controversial. Now, what Tesla engineers are developing goes against this trend. Sodium batteries, for example, are already being tested in partnership with Chinese suppliers, such as BYD, and CATL. These batteries can cost as little as you $55 per kilowatt, compared to $90 to $100 for lithium batteries. And most impressively, they are more stable at high temperatures, safer in collisions, and even more sustainable, which helps Tesla meet its ecological goals without compromising performance. Aluminum emerges as an even bolder alternative. Although less explored until now, it has an absurd potential to become the new gold of batteries. It is lightweight, does not oxidize like iron, and can be recycled extremely easily. Imagine a car whose battery is not only cheap, but also fully recyclable, durable, and safe. This is not just green marketing. It's a gigantic logistical and strategic advantage. Furthermore, aluminum is easy to find practically anywhere on the planet 
which reduces dependence on politically unstable markets. But it's not just about replacing materials. Tesla is integrating these new chemistries with a structural battery design, where the battery itself is part of the car's body. This eliminates the need for extra supports, frames, and casings. It's like transforming the battery into part of the car's skeleton, a brilliant solution that reduces weight, improves mass distribution, and saves interior space. This translates directly to greater range with fewer cells and a lower final cost. Another point that draws attention is how these new batteries are more adaptable to scale. While lithium requires a complex chain of extraction, refining, and transportation, sodium and aluminum can be obtained much more simply and locally. This perfectly aligns with Musk's idea of building decentralized factories, where each plant can utilize regional resources and reduce dependence on a fragile global supply chain. Imagine a gigafactory in Mexico using local aluminum and one in China operating with sodium. This flexibility is invaluable in times of geopolitical instability. And the impact on the final price of the vehicle is brutal. If the Gen 3 Plus Giga Casting combination already reduces production costs by up to 50%, adding that to batteries with up to 30% reduction in cost per kWh puts the Model 2 in a price range that even Chinese rivals can't match. BVD's Seagull may cost us $9,000, but it delivers much less in range and technology. Tesla, even at use $15,000, would arrive on the market with a 400 km range, software updates, and ready to run with FSD, something simply unprecedented in this price category. And it's at this point that the Model 2 story gets even more interesting. Because it's not just about technology or miraculous batteries, it's also about logistics, politics, and global strategy. The factory that kicks off production of this car can define the final price, the delivery speed, and even Tesla's success in the entry-level market. And although Elon Musk announced Giga Mexico with great enthusiasm back in 2023, the reality on the ground is much more complicated than the rhetoric suggests. Giga Mexico, located in Nuevo Leon, was sold to the world as Tesla's future crown jewel a colossal plot of land, more than twice the size of Giga Texas, designed specifically for the Gen 3 platform. The idea was clear, to take advantage of the local labor cost, which is around US $3 to US $4 per hour, much lower than the US 10 10 hour in the US, but the project stalled. Two years after the announcement, what we see are incomplete structures and slow construction. The surrounding infrastructure, energy, water, roads, is still not ready. And some say that real construction will only begin at the end of 2025. This delay is a real problem. Tesla can no longer afford to waste time. Sales are slowing, and Chinese competitors are gaining ground. Waiting for Mexico could mean falling behind in the race for affordable electric cars. That's why the market's eyes are turning to two other giants ready to act. Giga Berlin and Giga Shanghai. Both are already fully operational, with automated production lines, consolidated supply chains, and a history of efficient deliveries. Giga Berlin, for example, is today one of Tesla's most flexible factories. It produces more than 6,000 Model Y units per week and has lines that can be adapted for a new model in just 90 days. Elon Musk even uttered an enigmatic phrase recently, Berlin might surprise people next year. Many analysts have already interpreted this as a direct nod to the start of pilot production of the Model 2 there, perhaps as early as the last quarter of 2025. And it makes sense, especially since Europe is thirsty for affordable EVs. Sales of models below $25,000 jumped 45% on the continent while those of the Model 3 fell. But if there's one factory that can truly take the lead, it's Giga Shanghai. It accounts for more than half of Tesla's global deliveries, and its cost per vehicle is about 25% lower than that of factories in the United States. Furthermore, Shanghai has a huge advantage. 
an incredibly efficient and local supply chain. Tesla already operates there with BYD and CATL, testing sodium batteries and other low-cost materials. This proximity shortens lead times, reduces tariffs, and lowers production costs. Everything the Model 2 needs to be competitive from the start. Another point in Shanghai's favor is the speed at which adaptations can be made. The factory already masters Tesla's production architecture and would face fewer technical and bureaucratic obstacles to begin assembling the new model. Trendforce reports indicate that pilot production of the Model 2 could begin in China as early as mid-2025, which would leave Tesla with enough time to scale up manufacturing until the global launch planned for 2026. And if Shanghai leads, the impact will be direct. The Model 2 could be launched first in Asian and European markets, where import costs are lower. At this point, Tesla is no longer just trying to launch a new car. It's trying to win a price war. The Model 2 may very well be the ultimate game changer between Western automakers and the Chinese giants that once dominated the affordable electric car market. But how to compete with a BYD Seagull that costs $9,000 or a Xiaomi SU7 Lite that sells for around $14,000? Tesla's answer is clear. The Model 2 will cost $15,000, but delivering a package that no other competitor at that level can offer. And that's where the game changes completely. It's easy to look at the price of the BYD Seagull and think all is lost. After all, it costs practically half the price of a Model 3 and has been selling like hotcakes in Asia for some time now. But the secret lies in what's built into the Model 2 Elon Musk wants the car to have a range of up to 400 kilometers, far exceeding the 300 kilometer or less of its Chinese rivals in this price range. And it doesn't stop there. The car will come with hardware compatible with full self-driving, FSD, Tesla's famous advanced autopilot system, as well as over-the-air OTA software updates. In other words, even though it's cheap, it will be a complete Tesla. This is where the cheap car becomes a disruptive car. The Model 2 doesn't want to be just another alternative on the market. It wants to be the gateway to the Tesla ecosystem. A car with modern design, premium looks, respectable performance, and all the technological infrastructure that Model Y and Model S owners already know. Even if it costs a little more than its competitors, it delivers unbeatable added value. And at this point, let's face it, price and value are very different things, especially when it comes to electric mobility. Tesla knows it's dealing with an increasingly informed audience that wants not only savings, but also safety, range, and connectivity. That's precisely why the Model 2 is being designed to look like anything but an entry-level car. The finish may be simpler, the materials more optimized, but the experience will be 100% Tesla. Responsive accelerator, absolute silence in the cabin, minimalist dashboard, and of course, the famous infotainment system 